What is up, man? And ladies, what's going on today? Welcome to another episode of the Stay Smooth Shaving Show. Today is part three and the continuation of day three of what you need to do to prep and prepare your face for an everyday shave. Just to recap, we did two passes with the grain. The following day, we did another two and a half passes or so uh, with the grain and cross the grain. Now it's going to be the trifecta with the grain, cross the grain, and against the grain. After this shave, you'll be ready and your face will be willing to accept an everyday shave. So hope everyone's doing well, having a great day and a great shave. Today, I'm going to use Vanule. Vanule, what is that? What's that? That's right. This is a sample I've gotten while I, while I was in New York. Leon at Pasteur's gave this to me to try. Um, I got to admit, the first time I tried Vanille, I wasn't uh, impressed because it tingled and burned my face. But they have since reformulated their, their uh, formulation, and I really enjoy it now. Um, yeah, this is just a very cologne type scent. Now, before I get in the shave, I'm not going to do a review on the soap because I'm not sure if this is the old formula or the new formula. So, I will just do a scent review. It's got aromas of petty grain and citrus with hearts of Posidonia, oceanic seaweed. It's a masculine fragrance with amber and woody notes compared to Bulgariaqua cologne. Now, I've never tried Bulgariaqua cologne before, but it does have a men's cologne note in there, masculine. But I am getting like this sharp, perfumish note in there. Um, I don't know. Let's try it and uh, see what happens. So. We got the satin tip today, white fiber, McCour 34C with a Persona Lab Blue. This is the fourth use on this Saka. Never done that before. We're going to try it out today. Let's re-wet the face. Let's uh, see what what's up's got to be and what has it got to do. So here we go. I really love the presentation of Annule. I just recently put an order in. She's got a really good sale right now, Monica Gillum at uh, Van Ule. She's got a really good sale on, I believe it's her old formulation. <laughs> um, the five ounce tubs are $4.99 right now. So if that's appealing to you, get you some. I, I picked up like four. It was under like 20 bucks, but she does charge nine bucks for shipping. So you gotta factor that in. So there you go. So what is up? Creating a nice lather here. Let's do it. Nice and creamy. And I've got a little too wet. Let's see what happens here. It's got a nice feel to it. It's getting everywhere. <laughs> it's all right. Looking good. So far, it's feeling good. It's got a nice face feel to it. It's a very luxurious feeling. Kind of like a cream when you first put a cream on before you work it up. That's what it kind of feels like to me right now. It's very nice. So, going back to the reason of this video of showing you how to prep your face. Well, this is how I prep my face. And um, I know a lot of people's uh, ways of doing this differently. Some people's faces can just straight go into an everyday shave and they can hang. But I found out, because I have really finicky, sensitive skin, so doing this three, three day progression of with the grain cross grain and finally the third pass against the grain going back to your regular shave works so here we go I'm gonna set my sideburn I'm automatically go to a cross grain 
No messing around. Soap's doing well. Liking it. Got a great cushion. So that's reassuring. If this is the old formula, I really think whatever was messing with my skin was the uh, fragrance oils. And that one was tobacco privilege so just a heads up with somebody with a sensitive skin might be prone to that, so. Doing well. I like it. I'm not going to add any more water to my face because there's a lot of moisture on that brush. I'm really liking this face feel of this. And I have used Vanille before. But it's been a while. And this is doing excellent. I gotta say, I tried their Poseidon. I did not care for that scent. The, the uh, um, performance of it was great. I It just smelled like laundry detergent or something. And it's supposed to be like an oceanic kelp. Uh, see, I don't know. It, I, I didn't get it. I, I just didn't get it. Um, it wasn't appealing to me. Okay. Now, what I do is go straight up. Because I, I did a cross grain. Now I'm going to go even further with that cross grain. Because I want to get to BBS with the least amount of strokes and passes. And I feel that that leads to an irritation-free, pleasurable, everyday shave experience. Now this works for me, it might not work for you. If you can take something from this, awesome. If not, awesome. Thanks for watching. Can't believe that I'm in my 30s. I still get a pimple every once in a while. Isn't that annoying? I can tell this doing a uh, a fourth shave on this razor is probably wasn't a good idea, but that's why we try things, right? All right. Third and final pass. I gotta say, good job, Monica. On your soap. I look forward to trying the other scents. I think I got the one that's inspired by Keith Urban, Santana, Cologne, by the way. As you know, I'm a Cologne guy. That's right. I like the ambers and the sandalwoods and well me and sandalwood aren't very good friends but there's there's one I like. I like the Phoenix sandalwood and the uh, Parker sandalwood. Um, other than that I don't really have a yeah. feeling good. Okay now this way to me is against the grain. So here we go. See everybody shaving with the uh, Peter Charcalis new soaps. Looks good, brother, and it looks like you're a cologne guy. I see a lot of colognes, but uh, as we all know, I'm on a buy and freeze. Well, except for that Monica Gillum stuff, I can't pass up a sale. I just can't do it. But. Uh, if Mr. Charcalis is inclined to uh, send some stuff my way, 
I wouldn't turn it down. I'm just kidding, by the way. But not really. <laughs> I'm just kidding, my friends. Um, I eventually do want to try it, but uh, to me, it's not a new soap formula. It's not a. Uh, I believe it's just a scent, so. I'm not really chomping at the bit to get some, but I do want to try it. Okay. I got a little weeper there, but I think it's to the dual, the dull blade, but that's to be expected if you're going to do that. Excellent. Provides great, great um, slickness. Very surprised because this is, I believe, a tallow soap. And my water doesn't allow the tallow to do this job for some reason. Doing some witch hazel, cucumbers, layers. Oh, yeah. So that's how I do it. Yeah, it feels good to get myself ready for an everyday shave. That's what I do, my friends. To get there, now, I am liking this new Dress Blue by Vanule. Aftershave Bomb is great as well, but the scent of Dress Blue, awesome. Woo! I'm going to put some, ooh. Put some of that on there. Oh yeah, that smells good. Oh, that's excellent. And yeah, that scent opened up, and that kind of perfume note went down. So I really, I'm really liking "What's Up" from uh, Vanille. So that is a progressive shave. That's the last uh, shave tip on the ending of this. Not tutorial, but uh, how I get my face ready. I hope you uh, can learn something from it, enjoyed it, whatnot. Definitely recommend. What's up? The scent is awesome. I give it a 9.3. Um, I like it, but uh, if it was an EDT on the shelf, I probably would go to the next one. But for soap, it's excellent. So that's the show today. Respect yourself, respect the day, respect others. Until then, stay smooth.